other music like whatever we're working on. Practice session number four involves the trumpet again. That's in the middle of the afternoon for about an hour where you actually practice your difficult passages, what we call woodshedding. So you practice a lot of the difficult spots for maybe an hour. And I like to break them into small chunks. Like if it's just I might practice if that's pretty good, I go still single tongue because that's what I plan to do in the performance. And then and then reverse it. It makes your mind see the intervals and your finger combinations. Everything it sees it in every possible angle. Your brain will comprehend it better. And it makes you play the, the awkward things very, very fast. So the idea of practicing slower and then speeding it up, yes, that works. But what I like to do is break it into segments where I'm actually practicing the physical technique much faster than I plan to perform it. But, my, but by breaking it up, my mind can keep up. And your fingers and your tongue are having to do it very, very quick, down to the, just the quickest little nanosecond of technique. So then that feels like slow motion. And it really, it really ingrains things, you know, so break it up, do different rhythms. Practice session number five, again, no instrument. This is study. This is where you study the music that you're, that you're planning to perform. We've listened to lots of recordings of whatever piece it is. Now study it. Look at the score, compositionally try to analyze it, maybe even ask composers what's going on. Read everything you can about that composer, about that era. You know, I mean, people just pick up the trumpet and say, okay, this is a work by uh, Telemann or something, just, okay, yeah, or Hertel or Haydn or whatever, okay, I have a recording, okay, I'll do that. Well, listen to every recording, study every score, study everything you can about it to really come up with more information, to come up with, a, with your final interpretation. Again, city of the universe, take everything in that's possible within your reach. And then the last practice session, which is the frosting on the cake, and that's in the evening for an hour or more where you practice your performing. Even though you're by yourself, it's like I've already done my practice of woodshed, I've already done my warm-up, I've already done my fundamentals, I've listened and I've studied, now I'm going to have fun. I'm going to just start playing these pieces. They may still have some problems, but hopefully the next day the problems will be better because you're going to practice more. But now we pr actually practice seeing ourselves on stage, we're playing this as though it's a concert. I like to play along with recordings. If I'm working on a uh, Hindemith Sonata, I'll put on a good recording of it. Not because I want to hear the trumpet player that time. I'm, I'm, being, I'm the trumpet player. But I want to hear the piano. I want to see how it all fits together. Play along with it for the tuning, the balance, the you know, hearing all the m musical lines that are going on. So it's, that's, that's the, the most fun practice session of the day, too. Uh, I know that there's a lot of other questions, but uh, we're running out of time, and I, I don't want to go over. So I, I would like to play one more quick piece. If I could have Rebecca Wilt come back, and let's give her a hand. She's been great this whole week. <laughs> We'd like to play... Um, Three movements from a suite of Spanish dances by Manuel de Falla. And these are some, some songs and dances that were arranged by one of my graduate assistants, Amanda Pepping, who will be on a Fulbright scholarship next year to study with Ed Tarr in Germany, in Karlsruhe. And uh, it's a wonderful transcription of, uh, there's ten little movements. We're going to do three of them. And I think they're wonderful recital pieces just now published. Uh, they're not tiring. They're fun. They, and most of all, I mean, you could put them on the end of recital, beginning recital. But they're, they're not difficult on the chops. But it's good music, good for style. And we always look for, for good music whenever we can. So I think these, these work. Um, so that's what we'll do. And I, I want to thank Joe Bowman for hosting the convention and Steve Chanette and the ITG for putting this on and, and presenting me the award. And I want to thank all of you 
for attending today and being at the conference. So let's have a little fun with three of these dances. <laughs> 